Hello everyone, this is Fire, and I am showing you my cue box that arrived. It actually arrived two and a half weeks ago. Um, this is the Sailor Moon box. It was actually wrapped in a pink heart bag, because that's how they ship their items. Um, it said that I originally... They said it's. Uh, it originally said that it came from China. I can't remember if all the boxes came from China. So, right. So, I'm still sticking by what I said before. Um, even though people have been, you know, getting their boxes, but I've only seen Sailor Moon boxes that the majority have been getting. The Rodakuma, I believe, was before Sailor Moon. And I have yet to see anyone comment on it. I mean, the Q box is still a hit and miss. If you want Q items, um, Kawaki items, or cartoony items, there are plenty of websites. There's kawaii.com. It's K-A-W-A-I-I.com. Kawaii box. Then you have Loot Crate. They have like so many crazy crates now they just added two other ones a horror and a remix don't forget that they also have the Sanrio box which I'm thinking about buying because the theme is splash and all I can think about is mermaids um there's Tokyo tree there's um crate um Japan crate they also have kawaii boxes beauty boxes it's like, don't spend your money on something that may not come. Like, this one, most of their boxes, I believe, is like $30, $35. Some people may say that's not a lot, but it is. It's a lot. So, if you feel like that you want to spend money on their themes and may or may not get your box and be mad about it later, then go ahead and try. But this is my last box from Qbox. I don't like to go through the extraness of trying to get my money back and knowing that I may not get it. But I do appreciate everyone commenting on my other video. I like hearing your experiences, what happened, like when you got your box. Like, I truly, I had a card. Where'd it go? I thought I brought it in here. It must be in my room. But I actually have the card from last year. From when I got my Sailor Moon box. And one side is Sailor Moon. And one side was a... It was like a panda looking thing. And last month... Last year's box was a February box. And I think this one was a March's box. Although I am not sure. But in this box it didn't have a card. And like someone said on their Instagram. Because that's where I seen where everyone was getting their Sailor Moon boxes from. Well, that I knew they were getting their Sailor Mom books from is that the items are lower than what they were. There is no tracker on any of their stuff. That's the reason why they had their shipping um, on their website. Which I didn't mind. When you get stuff from China or overseas, it takes about a month depending on what type of shipping they use. So I don't mind waiting. But not being able to contact them them ignore my emails my messages it makes no sense when your customer service sucks so much that I'm not gonna buy from you and neither should anyone else I don't care how nice their wrapping and their box and stuff is it's just a waste of time there's pink polka dots on it though it's still cute even if people think they're bootleg items I still like their items, but I'm not going to buy from them. Let's see. This should be everything that came in the box. Here's the other thing. Okay, so I had to grab my light because... So if it looks weird, it's because I had to grab it. Because everything on my tablet looks dark. So this is a Luna um, coin purse. It has Sailor Moon right here. What the moon symbol and it's cute I like it then 
The next item is a keychain Funko Pop of Sailor Moon. Although I think it's hilarious because her hands look like they're straight melted together. But I've never had a keychain Funko Pop before. Sorry. I'm not very good with this lighting thing. There we go. I mean, it doesn't have any Sailor Moon stickers or anything on it. But I don't think, like, once you go to Hot Topic, they don't have stickers on their stuff either. Then we have the Sailor Moon nail stickers. With Venus and all kinds of stars and wands and stuff on it. It's not something I would use, but it's cute nonetheless. The next item is something I haven't seen before. It says that it's a night and day. Basically, it's a... There we go. It's a Sailor Moon sitter. And that's when people like put these little figures and they sit down on their drinks. There's several different kinds and they have little stands that they can sit on. I thought this was super cute and I was actually hoping to get one of these two. I can't remember which one I got. Because there's, what is it, Serena, Edri, Edrigen, Edrigen? estrogen whatever tuxedo's mask name is when he's king then you have little mini moon then you have luna when she becomes a human that would have been super cute then we have mini moon when she becomes her dark form dark lady i think and then we have the silver haired guy which he's one of the soldiers and i have no idea all right, here we are. So we have a cute little mini moon. She looks like she's pawing. It comes with a pink stand and a charm connector that you can possibly stick in her head to turn her into a charm for your phone. I thought this was really cool. And the last item is actually the Sailor Moon My Melody Collaboration Doll. Now, this is super cute. It does not have the the sticker on it but on her butt it does say Sanrio so I did see a collaboration between my melody and Sailor Moon a little bit ways back I do I have not yet to look up whether this is one of the actual doll types but I for some reason I love my melody and I believe this is one of those plushy sitters because she has the big butt so you could put her on your shelf she has a bow on top with the moon and the stars this is glued on it will not come off her ears are also sewn on. She has this cute little outfit with her skirt and her little her little outfit and her face. And this is all that is in there. Now, truthfully, the plush was probably a lot. So I don't mind. 
like truthfully it's it's a nice little box we got a blind box we got a Funko that I guess may cost like eight dollars ten dollars if not the blind box most likely cost ten dollars because it's a Sailor Moon blind box I mean it's not even it's not even value wise right now in a way because I feel like some other values there depending on how much that plush is but it's their customer service that ruins everything it's their shipping that ruins everything they could possibly have the best items ever but it's not good to risk it's not a good risk there are so many other places that you could buy stuff from like recently I actually bought the most expensive box I have ever bought and it is I mean do we really count that other one no cuz that's not a subscription box but it cost me 94 American dollars it is a Harry Potter subscription box it's from the doggy Don alley um, I believe that's doggy doggy I can't say it right doggone alley and it's their anniversary box and I love anniversary boxes limited edition stuff weird interesting things and I paid that much for that box because I've seen people unbox them I see their quality I like their the way they ship their website is upgraded all the time even if if they send me a letter saying that they delayed their item I'd be okay with it you want to know why because they sent me a an email and there's no point in messing up your reputation I mean I really don't have anything else to say about Qbox I just won't be buying from them until they actually start emailing and messaging people from what someone said on Instagram they actually s disabled some of their comments on their page so I guess until I get an Instagram I won't be able to see like every single thing I'm still trying to work Twitter <laughs> Twitter is interesting in its own but thank you for watching this extra random video and I will be posting the Harry Potter and some other mystery and subscription boxes later thank you and have a good night